never, ever get beyond this. In fact, what we need to do now is do everything to stop the strike at the beginning of March. Uh, Pat Callan, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, that is Pat Callan, who is General Secretary of the Royal College of Nursing. Just looking ahead to those uh, strike dates of announced. 1st of March, it's a 48-hour strike. It's now 26 minutes past seven. Now, many of us dream of finding treasure, or better still, a piece of long-forgotten history. But when Marie Woods took a trip to her local beach, she didn't expect to stumble across a giant Jurassic footprint. So there it is. This was the marking left by a theropod, a theropod stopping for a rest. Not sure how we know that detail. We'll try and find out that in a minute. It was 166 million years ago and the largest to be discovered in Yorkshire. Now, luckily, Marie is an archaeologist and knew exactly what to do. Research is now being carried out on the marking and it's set to go on display. And Marie joins us now. Um, Good morning, Marie. Join us from Scarborough. And Professor Phil Manning is Chair of Natural History at the University of Manchester. Good morning to you. Good morning. You've brought stuff. And before we talk to Marie, I sh we just have to add, are these, these are actual footprints? They are, and they're from the same site. I mean, the, the, the discovery that, that Marie's made is, is incredible. I mean, I, the theropod dinosaurs, the predatory dinosaurs, are some of the most exciting creatures to have walked the planet certainly if you believe what you see on television. So, but they, they really are. And, and, and to see one of this size and so beautifully preserved is fantastic. Now, these are of the food, the, the animals that, that, that were being eaten by the, by the track maker of, what, of this new discovery is what these tracks have been made by. So they're a little bit more dumpy, um, slightly more sort of softer edges to them. They haven't got the sharp claws at the end. So the footprint, this new discovery, is quite exciting. So that is the footprint of the prey, yeah? Well, this is, yeah, you can just see there's, there's your okay. toes. So that, one, two, three toes. That actually oh, gives you an idea. there a second. We'll get it on camera six. That there gives there. you an idea of how big the prey was. So Marie, when you found this footprint, it was a theropod of considerable size. What did you know? What did you recognise? Um, well, like the ones that Phil's just shown, um, I think that they're the ones that I'm more used to along our coastline. Um, when I went out, this, this is completely a different kettle of fish, if you like. And it was just incredible. Um, I knew what to do. Um, luckily, I've been out with Dr. Dean Lomax and John Hudson on a number of occasions. Um, so I knew to call them uh, to kind of start the process of, of recording and because and someone, potentially... someone had spotted it before. Yes, so that was Rob Taylor. Um, he spotted it in November of 2020, uh, but the print at that time was completely covered in the mud shale that we have around um, in that location. And because of the heavy seas that we'd had over the winter, it hadn't. Uh, really been exposed until I came across it again in, in the April of 21. Marie, uh, in, good morning to you. It's Charlie here. If we if we can go back to the shot, can we show people the, the shot of the print again? And Marie, maybe you can explain to me, when I first saw this image, I, I got the impression it was actually the, the the footprint was sticking out of the ground, as in it was, it was sort of above the ground. Is that a trick of the light as I'm looking at it? And also, how big, if your hand were next to that, sort of how big, give us a sense of proportion, can you? Um, yeah, so uh, what you're describing there, um, this is in relief. So um, if you imagine the block was in the edge of the cliff uh, and as it's come down, what we're looking at is the underside. So the, press, uh, the pressure of where the foot's gone into the mud and then it's flipped as it's come down the cliff face. Um, in terms of the size, there's my hand and you're looking at least another, I can't even fit it on the camera, um, another good uh, at least 80 centimetres. Oh, sorry, so, we missed that. You were, you were out of vision a second there, so you held your hand up. Do you want to show us again? There's my hand, yeah. uh, but the print goes beyond the camera view. I've, I've not got very big hands. Um, the print measures at around about 80 centimetres in length. Phil, I mean, Marie said, you know, she's seen things similar, well, not of that size, but, you know, theropods prints mm. before. How significant is this? What will happen with it? What do we learn from it? Well, every single fossil that we find is, is part of that jigsaw to help piece together sort of evolution of life on Earth. And uh, the trackways from the Yorkshire coast are particularly important because they're middle Jurassic in age. 
and they they give us insight to a point in the planet when the climate was changing, environments were changing, the supercontinent Pangaea breaking up and a whole suite of new dinosaurs were evolving. Frustratingly, the bones are astoundingly rare in the Middle Jurassic, so the footprints give us insight to these creatures. Can I ask, why? when we were um, telling people about this this morning, uh, um, we were saying it had taken a rest. How on earth do you know if this theropod was taking a rest? Well, I think some of the footprints can give you, uh, just in the way vinyl plays back sound, and it, was, it goes over every bump and groove in a, in a piece of vinyl on a record, uh -huh. trackways play back movement. And if you can interpret the trackway correctly, like this one here, if you look at it, you can see the three toes, it's rather heavy, but that's actually the underside of the foot. That's what you're seeing in the photograph. So that is the actual pads under the foot. And there's your one, two, three toes. This is a foot cast from the exact same locality. And we can tell something about the geometry of the dinosaur's foot. You can even see how it squeezed the foot as it went into the mud, and it was later infilled with this sandy mud, which has preserved the foot cast. Now, that footprint you're seeing in relief because it's the underside. You're seeing, the, the you're, as, it, as it were, the dinosaurs just walked over you and pushed into that sediment, squeezing it, and that's what's preserved. But But... For, for me, record, looking at the information that's recorded in the shape of the track, that's how we can interpret it. Um, Mary, are you still, does this sort of enthuse you more? Because I, I, once you've sort of found an amazing thing, does it just mean you go out more often and look more closely? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to stick to archaeology. Um, it's much more my bag. I know a lot more about it, and I don't feel too phased when people ask me questions about dinosaurs, and it's a bit over my head really but ask me anything about pottery and i'm there oh, you know what yeah. marie i would never have thought it was over your head i think it's been delightful <laughs> talking to you thank you and look I, and I also appreciate your little models of dinosaurs behind you as well Hello. they're very cute yeah. <laughs> marie was well done on discovering it thank you so much professor phil uh, manning thank you for no, bringing these you. things and for explaining it all this as well. weighs a lot as well doesn't it yeah the sofa is struggling the sofa is struggling <laughs> um you can thank find you. out more about the, that stretch of coastline in yorkshire by watching secrets of the jurassic dinosaurs 8 p.m this sunday on bbc2 time now to get the news travel and the weather where you are Hello, good morning. The funeral will take place today of a firefighter who died tackling a blaze in Edinburgh last month. 38-year-old Barry Martin from Fife was fighting a fire at the Jenner's department store. Stephen Gordon reports. 